All right, we got a roller coaster following the green line. So imagine a roller coaster t starting off at this point right here, cruising down here, and then you know getting on the uphill incline, and it goes for 45 meters. And what we want to know is what the displacement is from this purple X to the end of this rare, uh, red arrowhead. Uh, yeah, so we're going to figure this out. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to write all over top of this, and then I'll be able to fade it in and out, and um, hopefully it'll make sense. All right, so let's pick a color we have not used, like bright yellow. And I want to show you that there's actually two triangles in this picture. There are two of them. There is this, actually, this blue one here comes straight down making a right angle and there's also this bright yellow one that's gonna go here here and here so there's this blue triangle here and then the outside big one okay so let's focus now on the two triangles let's first do a little bit of math with this triangle right here the blue one so this is 30 degrees and this hypotenuse is 45 meters now we need to know sine cosine and tangent which is SOHCAHTOA S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A -H -H and even though I haven't officially went over this yet uh, I'm just going to show you what you can do with this this business that is uh, sine cosine and tangent okay so I need to find these two side lengths I need to find We'll call it Y since it goes up and down, and we need to find X since it goes sideways. Um, <clears throat> from this 30-degree angle right here, this is called the opposite side. This is the opposite side. And this is the adjacent side. Well, if I want to do trigonometry and find this side right here, then I can just go... <clears throat> look at this and I know that the sine is opposite over hypotenuse sine equals opposite over the hypotenuse so the sine of 30 degrees equals the opposite side which is y over the hypotenuse which is 45 and if we're going to solve this I have to multiply these two together to get the top one 45 45 times this will equal y um, so let me pause that and I'll do that. Be right back. All right. It should be rolling there. Let's just double check that. Yep. All right. Uh, so we multiply these two and we're going to get about 22 and a half. So Y would equal 22.5, um, which means this side right here, we can go ahead and label it is 22.5 meters. Now, if you know a little bit about the properties of triangles, you know that the side in a right triangle that's opposite a 30 degree angle is half of the hypotenuse and you can see that this is 22.5 um, this side we'll go ahead and find two and we're going to use the cosine on this so the cosine of an angle theta is uh, adjacent over hypotenuse so that we can say that the cosine of 30 equals blank over 45 uh, we'll call that x we call that x here so we're going to multiply, let's just see, cosine of 30 equals times 45, which is 38.97. So we can almost call that 39. I think it's safe to do that. 39. Well, that helps. That helps a lot. Now let's look at what we can do here. This length from here all the way over to here, the length of the bottom, if you will, <clears throat> is nothing more than these two things added together, 85 plus 39. All right. Okay, so that's 124. So now let's look at our big triangle. Let me draw the big one. Okay. Something like that. And so we have this is 22.5. This was 124. And uh, this is a right triangle. So that whole thing, the big yellow triangle, is a right triangle too. And so what we want is the hypotenuse. That's, that's our goal here, is to find this red line up through here. 
And uh, to do that, you can do Pythagorean theorem. You can do all kinds of things to get it. And that's what I'm going to do. This would be C, and we can call this A, and this B. So we can say that 124 squared plus 22.5 squared equals C squared. And this is the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared is C squared. This stuff is ancient mathematics. Give me a second, and I'll have them this. All right, so we done a bunch of calculator button pushing <clears throat> and a lot of people will say oh well c is 15,882 meters and that should certainly look wrong right because this you know these are just it's just going to be 100 and something probably but it equals c squared so to solve for for c we have to square root both sides so what we're looking for is the square root of that answer um so let's see here the square root of 15,008 182.25 is about 126 meters. So this is 126 meters. Final answer. This is the fun that we're going to have with trigonometry on almost every single problem. Talk to you later.